The first step in a decision that might impact where you get your power. Should Vermont buy hydroelectric dams? How do we pay for it? At the Capitol, state leaders are now exploring the pros and cons of buying hydro along the Connecticut River. It has to have value to the taxpayer. TransCanada recently announced it wants to sell its hydro dams, which could include facilities in Wilder, Bellows Falls, and Vernon. The company owns 13 in all along the Connecticut and Deerfield Rivers. Sale price? Unknown. We're not even sure what the portfolio will include. Or how much they're really worth in today's energy market. There's a certain amount of sort of operating risk, you know, what is the, the um, ability to deliver power if we contract to deliver power? Can we actually deliver that power? What happens if we can't deliver that power? Vermont passed on buying the dams a decade ago, outbid by TransCanada. Now they're coming back onto the market, and the governor's office announced a seven-member working group that will move quickly to evaluate the options. The way I see it is that we would provide the governor and the pro tem and the speaker with a sort of pathway to making that final decision. Officials say they expect a more comprehensive understanding in the upcoming weeks as they look deeper into whether they should buy these dams. In Montpelier, Renee Wonderlich, WPTZ News Channel 5.